हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम वंस अगेन टू अनदर लुकर स्टूडियो रिलेटेड ट्यूटोरियल बाय स्लाइड स्कोप एंड इन दिस पार्ट वी आर लर्निंग हाउ टू कनेक्ट लुकर स्टूडियो टू अ पोस्टग्रेस इक्वल डेटा सोर्स सो वी आर रनिंग दिस आईवन कंसोल सर्विस इन दिस आईवन कंसोल सर्विस वी यू कैन क्रिएट अ फ्री पोस्टग्रे एस क्यू एल so you can click on service and click on postgresql from here you can select a free plan or a trial plan or in your case you may have your postgresql database any hosted anywhere okay when you have postgresql database hosted anywhere so in that case you will have a host name you will have port value you will have a username and you will have a password okay so we are just showing you an example on this event console where we are running free 5g up to 5 gb 2 cpu 1 gb ram data storage uh, server so the name of this service is pgea this one is the service and here you can see we have service uri the host name the user name the password okay and obviously we are going to use them and we have our port also so we are going to use them to connect to this database okay first here we will when you are in looker studio so you can click on add data or once you have opened looker studio you have option to select postgresql you can search postgre here when you will click postgre looker studio requires authorization to connect to data we will authorize with our email id okay now once we have authorized you can see either you can write the jdbc url that is something that we'll uh, discuss later here we have the host name or ip so we will just copy the host name from here port is optional but we have to supply port because we are not using the default port database that we are using is pagela database the pagela database is sample database often used to demonstrate the features and capabilities of postgresql so so let me show you the same database in pg admin which is a simple management tool for postgresql so here you can see we have connected our data set here so let's enter the password so i have entered the password here and we have this data so now in this data you can see we have tables like actor address category city so all these tables are there so this pagela database is uh, used for pagela is specifically tailored to take advantage of postgresql and it is database of a dvd rental store okay actor store details about actors of the movies film contains details about the film such as title so we'll see that but here we will just mention the database name which is pagela because uh, that is something that we save You know, one is default db one is pagela okay username and password that is also given here so username is avn admin and password we will simply copy and paste here and let's try to authenticate if everything goes right uh okay they are having error let's try once again so if this method will not work for you we'll enable ssl and we will enable after enable ssl we will enter the postgresql ssl configuration files so here you can see the ca certificate we will try these configuration files also so we have downloaded the file here and now we are going to upload this file so we have uploaded the ca.pem file let's authenticate and now our table is connected so you can see all the tables there okay 
so this is the pagela database where we will perform our data analysis uh, in the database we have actors film category film category inventory store information like represent the physical location of the dvd rental store customer hold information about customers who rented the dvds rental tracks film rentals including rental and return dates so we have these type of tables here okay if you want to see any table for example let's say you want to see what is there in the rental table so here uh, we will use the query tool and we'll simply show you select a star from rental okay and let's execute the query and you will see the rental date inventory id customer id this customer id comes from the customers table staff id last update you know? so this gives you an information of which customer id has which rental date and which return date and which staff handle the request and this inventory id is a integer value which represents your inventory value so obviously there is a lot more to discuss in this database uh, you know but the main thing was to show you how to connect this data now we have all the tables and we will select these tables and add our data the thing in uh, looker studio is whatever table you have to analyze you have to select that and add to data so let's add actor to the data you will get a pop up like this you are about to add data to the report so simply add data to your report and now you can see we have actor id first name last name okay and in table you can see we are able to see all the actor first name we can also use the last name here in the dimension to see first name and last name now let's say we want to add one more table Okay, we will again click data and post gray and we have to mention it again. Now we can see we have actor info here. Okay. So obviously we are going to add this, but again this can be a very time taking task, like adding them one by one, you know, going there because we cannot select them or we cannot select the multiple tables at one time so what simply what you can do you can write your custom query and you can create views okay so you can join multiple tape or you can simply write your join queries here also so you can keep your join queries with you and based on your join uh, information you can join the table if you have four or five tables sets, you can repeat this task also so we are going to add actor info and once we are adding actor info here it will again show a pop up and this will add another table okay so now you will see added data sources so we have two added data sources one is actor info and one is uh, the actor id and here you can see your data sources also like once you will click your data source you can edit so you will see your data sources and for example the second data source name we have kept as same name so let's edit this here also it is showing the same value so what we are going to do we are going to edit the connection here we are going to use actor info or let's select category and reconnect and now you can see we have those fields like category id last update name and we will simply call it pagela category so if you are making these connections one by one make sure that you are using the proper name there okay and uh, and here you will now start seeing your Vegilla category and you will see the categories table. Okay. In categories table, you have categories like 
name, animation, you know, sports, and you have record count of how many records are there. Obviously, we are going to join these tables further in order to just a minute. I will go to this. So yeah, so here we have to edit the code, and when we will select, we will see two connections. So either you can use a SQL query to join these tables, create views. You can uh, create your views in your table itself. So it will be stored inside the views. Like here we have actor info view, customer list view. Okay. So in actor info view, we have column rules and triggers. So either you can select that or you can you can so you can see the table actor info that we actually connected was uh, a view okay similarly you can select these views so for example in customer list if you will see the code so they have selected customer id okay and they have joined three tables like they have joined address city and country with customers okay so with the help of these kind of views you can easily get data so this makes our data more easily available and that's why we have these six seven tables so later we are going to join them but here we just simply gave you an introduction to how to connect a postgresql database with looker studio and here we are just going to name it pagila Postgres this time. So, thanks for watching the video. We'll see you in the next part of this video.